Today I want to talk about the M word. And if you're over 40 watching this video, then you know what I'm talking about. For years, this was so misunderstood and it was such a taboo subject because even women ourselves, we just didn't get it. And I remember watching a TV show years ago when I was younger. It was an American TV show and it was called All in the Family. And it was with Edith Bunker and Archie Bunker. And it was played by um, Gene Stapleton and Norman Weir. So in the show, um, it really highlighted how, you know, women through, through ages and, and, and stages of their life, their bodies start to shift and go through different experiences. And one of the things that I've come to realize, my, everyone's body and everyone's experience is completely different. However, there are some things that really seem to be universal during menopause. And during those years, you may feel as if you don't have any control over the outcome, how you feel. For example, your, um, your body may start to, you know, have these changes. And, there is, and, and as a result of it, it affects how you look and how you feel about yourself and bringing about a poor self-image of yourself. Um, mood shifts, that's very common among women um, going through menopause. You, you know, have some days you're in a good mood, some days you're in a bad mood. You know, your emotions are going up and down. Um, severe hot flushes and excessive sweating, making you really feel uncomfortable in your clothes and you don't feel as uh, assured as you should because you're worried about either, you know, ex the excessive sweating. Some women experience uh, issues with the blood pressure, uh, the tendency to be rather high and also low thyroid. Or in this video, we're gonna be talking woman to woman about two things, how to look good and feel good in menopause. So pay attention. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This is Milan Perry of So Natural Wellness, and, and I have to be truthful with you ladies. The less weight you gain during menopause, the better your changes in life and your symptoms will be. Now, when I first began, um, you know, going through this change, and when I first started with hot flushes, I didn't really know <laughs> at the time that's exactly what it was. I started somewhere in my 40s, my, my late 40s, maybe about 40, I mean my middle 40s, I should say about 45. So I went online and I came across several different forms and of women who were either sad, they were distraught, um, they felt lost or even angry. And I decided that this wasn't gonna be my eventuality. I wasn't going to have that same experience because I realized that uh, our experiences in menopause uh, and perimenopause is different. And now, in all honesty, it's actually our choice. There are so many various beliefs, uh, social beliefs about what happens during menopause and from what textbooks you read them or what doctors that tell you certain things. And sometimes it's a merely um, just pass on from generation to generation, woman to woman. But every woman is different and unique. Having experienced forgetfulness and fogginess as symptoms of menopause, for every woman, you know, and even yourself, the experience is different. But as you go through these life changes at a certain point in life, that's real. There's no doubting that. And I'm not going to minimize it either. Now, when you consider your lifestyle, which can make your symptoms worse or easier to cope with. Thereby, it affects how you look and affects how you feel going through menopause. So let me break this down for a moment. Within your DNA, there are certain traits that influence how your body works. Your aging ability, the right type of foods for you to consume, um, the right exercises, and the best lifestyle habits. Now, these are the behaviors that directly impact how you feel, how you function, and how you look, all the way down to your cellular level. That's amazing, isn't it? Now, this is how you look at it. You hold the key to true change and transformation. And what I mean by that is 
your very own personal roadmap that we'll create together will give you a concrete plan of action to optimize how you feel. Now with knowledge comes power, am I right? Let's get going so you can take those beginning steps to make you feel and look better for a healthier, fabulous, fit life that you desire. Now, of course, I'm just gonna let you know, when you're past a certain age, we have to work a little bit harder and longer to achieve the same results that we did in our, in our youth. That's a no-brainer, right? Which is why that expression, lose it or lose it, <laughs> it makes so much sense. Because everything is a little bit easier when we're younger. Your body is just ready to bounce back. And you make several different choices every day. How you want to look, how you want to age, how you want to do it in the way that defies the status, the status quo of midlife, and it affects how you feel. So I want you to bring your body back. I want you to come home to self. So there are a lot of herbs that you can buy in the market, Whole Foods, um, in an herb shop, but you have to be careful about that because if you're buying herbs to help you during menopause, to help you feel a lot better during menopause, your body chemistry is different. So just because you see something in the market doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right thing for you. But I'm gonna give you a few of my um, favorite herbs that I've came across that really helps in work with menopause. I'll share with you four of my favorite herbs that has really helped to bring your body back to balance and to come home to self. And there are so many on the shelf and you have to be really careful because some of them can be outdated. The herbs can be old. Um, so make sure that you're you know, working with someone who, who's an herbalist who knows about herbs um, that can really help you in making your selection. So Bishop Hat is one of them. It's one of my favorite herbs. It helps to um, it helps a woman's body to uh, be balanced, uh, have a balanced balanced estrogen level, estradiol levels in, in your body. Tacweed is another one. Is um, the second herb that I really love. It helps to increase a woman's sexual function and including fertility and libido, low libido. Um, Siberian ginseng is another beautiful herb. That's the third one. It can help to improve your glucose metabolism and type two diabetes. And golden root, that's the last one I want to share with you because it helps to, um, you know, fill that short-term memory. And sometimes we have those days when we're feeling a little forgetful and just off. Well, it helps with short-term uh, memory as well as long-term memory. How do you want to feel in your skin? Your improved lifestyle, it has a bearing on your menopausal symptoms. Imagine more confidence, having a plan with a tent when you go out into the world, higher libido, um, no hot flushes, weight loss sustainably. So the better your lifestyle is, which will include getting adequate amounts of sleep, moving your body, finding joy in life, your mental state, your being more positive, including well-being as part of your daily routine, staying hydrated, fewer symptoms that your body will experience during menopause. So if you enjoyed this video, I want to share with you a free training that I'm going to be hosting. And the name of this training is Shape Women Don't Diet, How to Regain Your Strut Without Counting Calories. So click on the link below this video to get this free training. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. And until then, stay beautiful and healthy. But don't forget, subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos that are made for you, wellness within a lifestyle.